I was going to start with the basic one. What does this championship, among the other 14 that you've won, what does this one mean? It's, um, it's hard to put into words right now. Uh, Jay and I were talking. It's, it's just crazy, um, everything we've been through since the players last year. And being on the pack um, and the amount of calls, the amount of decisions that, that Jay and the, and the board has had to make and, um, and having fans back and just to, uh, the amount of work that's gone into this for us to not only be able to play from, from when we started to now, but how well it's gone. And uh, to do it in front of fans again felt incredible. And uh, it's, this is something in a day I'll, I'll definitely never forget. Let's talk some golf from this week. 33 holes, first three, 33 holes, you're even par. You make the cut by a couple here. As you go into the weekend, what were your thoughts? What was your approach coming into Saturday where you shot the low round of the championship 64? Well, I know that you can get it going out here pretty good. It's, uh, I've been fortunate to have a couple low rounds, but I know that if you put the ball in the fairway, uh, the greens weren't overly firm this week, but they were really, really good. And, um, you know, the tour always does a great job of on a Saturday setting it up where we can get after it a little bit if we want. And I was able to play beautifully, hit some, hit some nice shots, make some good putts, and, and put myself in position. And then uh, I just kind of told myself to try to get, get around the lead on that back nine because I felt comfortable with my game and I felt comfortable being in that moment. And I know that anything can happen. Uh, I've, I've witnessed it and watched it on TV many times with myself not being the beneficiary of it. So I was glad to, uh, to do that this year. Well, let's talk patience for a second, because that first nine, you hit it great. Yeah. And there were so many putts that were this close, on edges. But you stayed patient. Where did you feel like it started to turn for you? That, as weird as it is, that putt I hit on seven was so good. I, 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 I rolled the ball. I felt really well. I had a cup, The speed was off on a couple, but overall I felt I rolled the ball really well. I just wasn't holding anything. And, and that putt on seven, um, I hit such a good putt. This is a, a hard putt for me and anybody. I mean, it was a downhill, big slider, and I thought I made it and just looked out on the high side. And um, and even though I missed it, I just I loved the way that I hit that putt. And then I uh, made a really good one on 10 and then, you know, 11 and, and, and so on. But, um, no, it's, I, I was fortunate to hit it well enough that a lot of my birdies were low stress uh, today. One of my favorite parts of the last few years in getting to know you is your family. Uh, mom and dad are constants. Their support, every mom and dad supports their kids, right? But there's just a different connection because of the family nature of golf in your family especially. Can you just talk about what family has meant to you in the last couple of months where you've lost your granddad and it's been a more difficult time than maybe the prior years that you've gone through on tour? Yeah, it's been a, a long year, I would say, is an understatement. Uh, it's been a weird year, but um, they're always so supportive of me. They, uh, you know, I, I believe it, but they tell me that they love me no matter what I shoot and, and how I play. And um, it's just when you're in a, in a tough place mentally or when you don't feel feel is great, you know, to have a support system like that and everybody on my team. It's, um, it's huge. It, it, it feels like this game can do the weirdest things to you, you mentally, you know. It can make you feel like you're in such a deep, dark hole when you're really not. And, um, and having a sports system like I do is, uh, makes it a lot easier. Lastly, these, uh, these titles are starting to pile up for you here at a very young age. I mentioned 14 and some great ones. You've already won the FedEx Cup. Here you, you have win the players. You have a major championship. You've won a World Golf Championship. When you get to this point in your career and you're in the prime of your career, what are the thoughts that start running through your mind about not racing too far ahead, but what's uh, lying ahead for you the rest of this incredible season, super season that's laid out? I'm just excited. I've, I've been working really hard, I mean, the last couple of years, and I just want to keep getting a little bit better in, in every aspect. You know, you don't, I don't necessarily, I mean, I would love to get a lot better in something, but if I can just continue to just improve slightly in, in a couple of different aspects, you know, each year, then I feel like I can continue to do great things. But at the end of the day, it's, especially now with fans back, it's really what's between your ears. You have to be able to, to, to you know, uh, be gutsy and uh, and understand that you have when to hit the shots, when not, and um, and just kind of step up when you need to. I'm going to sneak one more in because you mentioned the fans. You told Steve Sands right after you finished how you'll never take it for granted again. Yeah. What what was it like today, especially as you go around 16, 17, 18, and you're able to hear the murmurs on 17, yeah. but also the support, the go get him JT from the fans here at TPC Sawgrass. It, it's incredible. I'm so happy to have them back. They were great. Um, been living in Florida for a while now, it feels like a, a bit of a home win, if you will. But 
everyone was so supportive, but it's just the, the, the adrenaline, um, the, just being able to control your nerves, your hands tingling, the, the goosebumps that you get. It's, um, you just, you can't recreate that without fans and having the back is so great. Um, it's so nice. And, uh, I've always thought about how hard that 17th hole would be if I had a chance to win with all those fans. And I confirmed it's, it's pretty difficult. As hard as you thought it would be? It, it is. It's a, to try to hit a nice little high cut sand wedge that's, you're just planning on it going 15 yards farther because of adrenaline over water is, uh, it's an uneasy feeling, but uh, I was glad it worked out. Well, those of us who know you know that you are one of the more proud, at times obnoxious fans of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Got a football championship. You've taken care of a big title in the golf world. Your basketball team's got a shot, so life is good. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'll give you a chance to say Roll Tide. You, you didn't take it. I, I'm just speechless. for Roll, roll Tide. <laughs> <laughs> well, the last thing we have to do is an important one because every year the nation representing the winning player has their flag fly here at TPC Sawgrass for you. You won't be able to see it from here, but you'll see it on the way out. And it's been three years since the Stars and Stripes was up there. Webb Simpson won in 2018, Rory last year, uh, 2019 in the No Tournament last year. So in this Olympic year where we hope to see a lot of the Stars and Stripes down the line, the Stars and Stripes will be uh, in the spot of the winner of the players because of your performance. Congratulations, Thanks, Justin. Mike. Appreciate it, man. Justin Thomas, your 2021 winner of the 47th playing of the Players' Championship.